Hey, how you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing all right out there. Hey, I wanted to share a video with you that my friend Nicole sent me of an incident that happened to her recently when she went to the, the local hospital here in town to take her 86-year-old uh, father in for some uh, treatment for cancer. And uh, the local hospital here is called Lawrence Memorial Hospital, or we call it uh, LMH around here. And let me tell you real quick about Nicole. Uh, as you'll see in the video, man, she's a badass motherfucker. And um, you'll see her just take these male security guards to task, uh, just emasculating them over the fact that they're still wearing these masks and still just following orders and just complying instead of standing up and having enough of this nonsense with this, these COVID measures that are still in place. So like I said, you know, Nicole, she's a badass, man. She, uh, she's a five foot one Latina and she uh, started a, a mask protest uh, around the same time that I started my protest here in town. We didn't know each other at the time, but she just happened to be starting a mass protest as well. But she did hers outside of her own work. So she'd go protest her work's mask mandate uh, and, and go back in and work. And, uh, you know, that to me, man, is everything you need to know about her. She, uh, <clears throat> she's got all of the uh, credentials needed in, in this fight that uh, that we're in right now against all the the lunacy and the nonsense and all the government overreach you know she stands out with me on uh when i campaign she stood it with me uh what during all the uh the uh, abortion protests that we did uh we went everywhere uh protesting these things and uh you'll, you'll see in the video man she she don't back down and she's got a lot more fight and, and, and uh, gumption than uh, most men. And I have nothing but respect for her. So, so here's what happened. She, she went in uh, to the hospital with her dad and they both decided we're not wearing these masks, man. You know, um, and they went in and no issues walking into the hospital. Uh, they go and they meet with a doctor and no issues meeting with the doctor when it came to the masks. And, and the doctor went ahead and gave them a referral over to the x-ray office so they they went over her and her dad walked over to the x-ray office there in the hospital and once they walk in there is when she starts recording because the x-ray techs or, or the nurses whatever whatever they are you know they they refuse her dad treatment because they're not wearing a mask and so they uh they they call security on on nicole and, and her dad so you know you, here you see the 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 fear and, and the safety of of these employees out uh, is far more important to them than actually giving cancer treatment to someone. It, it, it is just, it is just insanity, man. It, it, and it's just cowardice on their parts. Uh, but you'll see in, in the video then when the security guards show up to escort Nicole and her dad out, you know, Nicole just starts laying into them, you know, calling them cowards, calling them wusses, saying that they're, they're what's wrong with America right now is that you know, we ain't got any men that have been standing up like they should have been and fighting for, against this stuff. And so they just cower and go along with it. And it's the most pathetic shit you ever seen with these men doing this stuff. And men have been doing it this entire time. I have absolutely no respect at all for men that do that. And, and neither does Nicole. And she takes them to task on it. And it is just marvelous. So, so check it out. Well, then you're not having your appointment. You can wait. Just stop. No, that's the rules. That's yes. ridiculous. The CDC said we don't need masks anymore. The, we just saw the doctor. He said we don't need a mask. You're not a doctor. No. Okay. The doctor overrides you. No, he does not. Just give him the x-ray. No. Seriously. No. Great. Great. You guys are ridiculous. You guys think you're so powerful trying to enforce these stupid things that don't work. We, do you know they don't work? The you, half of, half of you wear them down like this. What's the point? I just we're walked down the hall. Told. You're all doing it. We're doing what we're told. Wearing them below your nose and under your chin. Does it look like mine's below my no, nose? No, but a lot of people are. Are you are you yelling at them? Just let security handle them. I don't really believe the actually going to find it. We'll just have it somewhere else if we have to. Huh? Yeah, because we'll we're go have it somewhere else. Patient, cancer patients over there, so. Well, he's a cancer patient too, but he doesn't live in fear like all you guys. We have to go by the rules of the hospital. The rules suck. Well, Somebody needs to stand up. Go. Stand we up. If we don't stand up, we're going to be wearing these things for 10 years.
What is a CGC now? Say now. That you don't need them in medical facilities. CGC is in it? Yeah. Why wouldn't these people pay attention? They probably need to call the CDC. Huh? They probably need to call the CDC and not security. They want security? They're calling security on us. For what? Because we won't wear a mask. Well, security has been here for a long time. How can I help you? Found it. You can't film me either. Oh, yeah, I can. You're violating my rights. What rights am I violating? I didn't give you permission to film me. It's hospital policy I'm to wear a mask. Off. Okay, well, we're not wearing a mask. The CDC okay, said then, we don't need a mask. Then they're refusing the right to serve you. The CDC may say so, but it's still hospital policy. And what policy says. And you guys are just going to wear it forever? You guys are men, right? Until a hospital. And you're going to follow the yeah. rules forever? These things that don't work and actually make you get sicker well, when you have COVID? Ma'am. That's the hospital policy. Well, you, you, you guys it. need to stand up. You're men. If you don't want You're to follow the policy, then you can leave. That's what's wrong with our country. There's no okay. more men. All righty. Sad when a small woman has to be stronger than be men. Sure Thanks. You guys are pathetic. Have a nice day. Refusing an old person's service because you want to follow her and she's getting off on her power. Look at that face. You can go out to the Disgusting. I'm not going to walk all the way around the hospital. Well, then you need to put your mask on. You're going to see 10 more people on the way out that have oh, their I masks down well, yeah, below their chin. Yeah. You guys are going to look back in 10 years and be embarrassed that you were acting like this. Or probably not. We're going out. Okay. So you guys have more power than a doctor who said we didn't need to wear masks, right? Because you guys went to medical school? This from the Board of Administration. Well, he's a doctor. The they should They're know. Is it That's for health or is it just for a dumb rule? Rules are rules. Right. You like them or not, right? right. I'm sure. Just wait till more rules come down the pipe and I'm sure you'll go along with it. Simple solution. If you want to be seen today and be treated for the night, simple solution. Simple solution for you to give up your manhood and have that thing on your face for the rest of your life. The mask doesn't affect my life, though. Yeah, well, it does. You just don't realize it. Keep going forward. It makes you look like a wuss, which you are. And our children are being raised by a bunch of wusses. That's what's wrong with our country. I think we're going over here. I think we're going out over here. Hope you guys people. I'm sure that you will. Evil people do.